So I'm making me a brood box. I got a hen that's broody. And uh, I want to keep her separate, be able to get her, of course, she don't have to go far for food and water. But I want to give her a little run. So I'm making a two foot nesting area covered box and a uh, four foot run. So it'll be two foot by four foot run. And then maybe I'll be able to put two uh, hens in it if I get another broody one. But uh, I'm r running it, I'm going to use it out of scrap. Uh, this old piece of treated lumber I've had for a fall. And uh, I'm hoping I can get a, a good enough piece out of this to use, but we'll see. I'm going to cut two three inch pieces right now, so we'll go with that. I said I was cutting uh, lumber up for a chicken brooder. I got a chicken that's broody and I'm going to build her a two foot by six foot, two foot wide, six foot long, two foot high, the uh, brood house. I'm going to have a two by two foot box on the back where if I have to I could actually put two broody chickens in. But I want to give them a little space to run just in case they need it. And uh, this is a design I made a long time ago, only it was a lot shorter. I only had a, a four foot box. And uh, it wasn't very well made, but I've thought out a few things to make this a little better. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, as I progress on this today, because I got other stuff to do, I'll, uh, I'll give you an update. Since it's super duper hot, I'm going to cut this stuff. It's laid, I had it set up to start cutting parts for my rafters. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this stuff and uh, start building my chicken box. <laughs> Screw this together, got it all clamped and holding, so. So this wasn't treated so after I'm done with it I gotta get it back in here clean it up and paint it but for now this is working great and I got the bottom started so we'll go from there the old corner clamp I found is kind of cantankerous so sometimes it takes a little bit to get it set up but 
at least it works. A good cleaning probably wouldn't hurt it. And some lube. WD-40 or something. for that. Make sure it stays in place. Oh, I'll attach wire on the bottom just in case something knocks it over. And, uh, and I'll put a piece of plywood in here. This one goes here to match up with that one. I'll put a piece of plywood in there and plywood up the side, front, back, cut a door in it, put a piece in here, cut a door in it, and uh, this should hold two or three chickens easy if I want it to, so it'd hold up to four, it'd be just a little crowded, and uh, I'm going to use this for a nesting area for my broody chicken, so... <clears throat> I'm just making a small one that's easy to move and uh, hopefully I can remember how to do all this. It's been a long time since I built one, but I got the basic concept down. It's starting to look good. Now I just got to find the plywood to put everything together with. So we'll go from there. Oh, this was an old piece of flooring from probably an old trailer I tore down. Uh, I'm just going to pull all the nails out and try to get everything set up. I'm going to use it because some of the other is already past use, so I'm going to try to use as much of this stuff up as I can before it goes bad. And then I'm going to start painting and make sure all this stuff is put up every year when it's not in use. So these are just some of the few projects that I've got to get going. More storage space, better storage space. So I'll get all these nails pulled and cleaned out and uh, get it marked up. Show you what it looks like when I get ready to cut. So I got my lines laid out. I'm gonna make some cuts real quick. If this will be my front or back, I don't know yet. But this is the door I marked out. I can cut it. 
and put my hinges on. Probably get another one out of this. And uh, then I only need a couple little oddball pieces, which I think I can get out of another sheet. Yeah, this this is not bad. You can actually make this work. So. <sighs> All right, on to the next piece.